Okay, let's, uh, well, let's keep the experimentation going. And, um, so, okay, uh, I actually realized that, you know, as much as I've been having success with, um, with, uh, you know, like, the colorless utility lands, um, Zo Zotech or Zeotech Cavern, uh, then we tried, um, uh, what's it called, uh, uh Zephalin Void, um, you know, Zephalin Void actually is pretty good. The scry is definitely, uh, definitely useful. Um, sometimes when you scry stuff to the bottom, it feels incredibly invaluable. But, you know, <clears throat> but I have been noticing that some games <clears throat> that I, I, I do sometimes drop games very, very, uh, you know, very, very close, like, uh, at very, very, um, you know, like the turn before I'm going to lose, like, you know, I, I, I die like an exact, uh, at, you know, take like exactly lethal. So, you know, I wonder if just gaining two life actually has a lot of value too. Um, and this also might help shore up the burn matchup because one of, historically, I think one of the biggest problems with an Obosh prowess variant is you can't play Dragon's Claw and you can't play a Madcap Experiment. You can't play like, you know, of course, into a, into a Platinum Imperion. You can't play like um, the really powerful anti-burn sort of hate cards. Um, you know, so like, but I was thinking maybe if we just gain some incidental life with Radiant Fountain. And maybe if we just supplement this, supplement Radiant Fountain with a another decent um, life gain card that isn't necessarily all in on life gain and can also be brought in in other matchups, maybe we can both shore up the burn matchup a lot and also maybe experiment with possibly having another good card that might actually have application in other matchups. So we're trying Radiant Fountain, same list as, uh, as last time. Um, but we're going to mix it up a little bit. Um, so we're going to replace the, uh, the, uh, Pyrite Spell Bombs with, uh, Phil Gree Familiar. And so the idea here, like I said, is that this does help gain life against Burn. But I've actually had my eye on this when I did, like, a quick search for, uh, life gain cards that were, like, artifacts. Um, because, you know, obviously there aren't really any mono-red life gain cards, at least that I'm aware of. Uh, please let me know if I'm missing something, at least any good ones. I'm not even aware of, like almost any period but um but yeah like so actually I, I had my eye on this because i'm like hmm this actually isn't half bad but my biggest concern was it's just not really all that strong as a life gain card but i thought to myself this is actually kind of like a colorless kitchen finks almost i'm like this actually isn't half bad and in really grindy matchups it could be kind of nice to have like a 2-2 that also gains some life and also you know like against for example blue red control or like control decks that aren't necessarily all in on like exile effects like path to exile as their removal you know i thought like this actually could be pretty decent because i mean they're gonna have to they're gonna have to like go down on card advantage in order to deal with this thing um plus i thought well it is a 2-2 colorless creature so it, it is a pretty decent blocker for pro red um yeah i just kind of thought like yeah there's actually kind of a lot to like about this maybe you know maybe this is worth a shot but of course it was just kind of hard to pull the trigger on it because um because the entire reason I was thinking to play it was basically uh, was basically to shore up um, burn, and I just didn't feel like this alone. Two, two life and a colorless blocker alone is not going to do it against burn, but maybe together with Radiant Fountain, uh, maybe it will. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I mean, and maybe it's actually just kind of worth it for grindy matchups in and of itself. Uh, that might be kind of, um, it might be kind of like uh, too cute in a way to play this uh, without necessarily having a dedicated burn anti-burn strategy but i don't know we'll see but definitely together with radiant fountain i think we might have a solid a solid like you know life total life total buffer plan um yeah i mean at least at least it's worth a shot and so of course because we are dropping the pirate spell bombs oh yeah another thing too is that's also like a pretty decent card to just replace like a blood moon or a flame slash in the in the matchups where those are dead you know pillage can replace the other one if both are dead so we're never going to be like completely um, out on dead cards, uh, and yeah, so of course, you know, I feel like if we take out the pirate spell bombs, we have to, uh, up the Kozlik's return count, maybe four is overkill, maybe three is fine, um, I've sometimes gone as little as, like, two anti, you know, dedicated anti, uh, pro red hate, um, but, you know, I don't know, I mean, as between O Stone and, and Kozlik's return, I think Kozlik's return is slightly better in multiples, at least, you know, the reason why before I had, uh, O Stone as a four of and Kozilek's Return as a two of is that Kozilek's Return was kind of duplicating somewhat the effect of Pyrite Spellbomb. So, you know, my thinking was 
I, I kind of could use a little more of like the um, the kind of uh, effect that Ostone was giving. So, so yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this is if this idea is really going to bear fruit, but it you know maybe let's give it a shot. I and mean, you know I think there are certainly some matchups where Kozilek's return is really good, aside from the pro red uh, ability. Um, if we do bring it in together with Filgree Familiar. Um, at least we will draw a card if uh, if we uh, end up uh, killing, you know, using Kozlik's turn. So it's not like a complete non-bow. Um, yeah, uh, I want to give it a shot. Um, this could be, you know, Pirate Spell Bomb definitely can be missed. Uh, it's pretty nice to just have another, you know, Burn Spell type card to, su to supplement. Um, but I also kind of like Filigree Familiar because... Yeah, like, actually, there are some matchups, like, maybe even Prowess Mirrors and other other decks like that, where I may just side out the uh, Prowess Creatures entirely, and just go all in more on a value plan, and having some incidental life gain and a decent blocker um, that also draws a card, um, you know, could could be good. Could be good. I guess we'll have to see. Um, can't can't know until we give it a try, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's give it a shot.